Now available in paperback and Kindle Unlimited, E-Steam Goddess of. Hell's aspiring angel takes on a demonic dominatrix in this action-packed all-new E-Steam series adventure. Get E-Steam Goddess of in paperback and Kindle Unlimited today. Recently, we had another one of these beta males down in Memphis, Tennessee, murder an infant child by beating them to death after finding out that he wasn't the child's father. And when I take a critical look at this incident down in Memphis, Tennessee, where this man is alleged to have beaten this infant child to death, I see another case that fits within the pattern and profile of the behaviors I talk about in my book, The Man Crisis. Now, when it comes down to these beta males, oftentimes they want to live in a smooth world. And in order for that world to be smooth, they need everything to fit within the parameters they want them to fit in. And when it looks like, in this case, of this 33-year-old beta male down in Memphis, Tennessee, he wanted to be the father of this child and he wanted to have a relationship with the child's mother. And when he found out that he wasn't the child's father, that's when this beta male decided to explode in a rage. And that's when he participated in one of the spectrum of violent behaviors that beta males participate in. And when it comes down to these beta males, that spectrum of violent behaviors can be anything from a screaming fit all the way up to extreme acts of violence like murdering a four-month-old child. Now, this four-month-old child was completely innocent in this case, but when it came down to the beta male, he didn't really care about the child. What he wanted to do is hurt the woman because when it comes down to the beta male, in every case, the beta male has the physical strength of a man, but he has the emotions of a woman. And because he has the emotions of the woman, and that makes him act like a woman, what he wants to do is hurt that woman with his violent behavior. And he wanted to hurt this woman with his violent behavior because he believed that if he killed this child, he would take away the thing that meant most to that woman. So this man, he didn't want to hurt the woman physically. He wanted to hurt the woman emotionally because that's what beta males do in these situations because while they look like men on the outside, they are women on the inside. And when it comes down to the beta male, because they are emotional thinkers, they don't think critically about situations like this. Now, any rational and logical thinking man out there, once they find out they are not the child's father, what they're going to do is pack up their stuff and walk away from that female because now they know that one, this female is ratchet, and two, they know that they don't, that if this female is ratchet, they need to put some distance between themselves because this is not a trustworthy female. But when the case of the beta male, what happens to him is he invests his emotions in these women. And because he invests his emotions in these women, whenever he finds out the truth about these women, that's when he explodes in this rage. And that's when he goes out here and participates in this violent behavior like this man did where he murdered this four-month-old child. Now, another part of a rational thinking man's mindset is to say that he would hold the woman accountable. Unfortunately, when it comes down to your beta male, he finds every way to get of a woman a pass for her irresponsible, reckless, and egregious behavior. And when it comes down to your beta male, in this case, it's interesting how he gave the woman a complete pass for her behavior by not holding her accountable and then went out here to attack this innocent and defenseless child. And that also relates to this beta male's issues as related to power, because when it comes down to your beta males who have usually been raised 
in single mother households. The beta male, what he will do because he feels powerless against a woman because he's used to submitting to female authority figures is he will try to give the woman a pass so he will not have to confront her. And what he will do is take out his anger on somebody weaker, similar to what we saw with that beta male who grabbed the five-year-old boy and threw him over the railing of the Mall of America a week ago. This same pattern of behavior is exhibited here where this beta male beat this infant to death all because he was angry at the woman and because he was too afraid to confront the woman, this coward decided to attack this child who could not defend themselves and that shows how these beta males operate because when in the spectrum of beta male rage, a lot of these beta males, while they are angry, they are afraid to confront women and they are afraid to hold women accountable. And it's clear in this case that this woman is the person who needs to be held the most accountable. But in the beta male's mind, he always gives women a complete pass, again, for their irresponsible behavior, their reckless behavior, their egregious behavior, and their debaucherous behavior because he always puts women on pedestals. And because he puts the woman on a pedestal, that's why he gives her a pass and can't hold her to the, an accountable standard because if this woman would go out here and lie and say that this man is the child's father and he is not, then it shows that this woman is a completely dishonest individual and this woman needs to be held accountable for her dishonesty. And any rational, critical thinking man, upon finding out that this woman is a dishonest, ratchet female, like the one in this case, and then finds out that he is not the child's father, after he finds this out, what he's going to do is charge that woman to the game, walk away, and then move on. That's what a rational thinking man would do in these cases because now he has no obligation to have a relationship with that child. He, and he has no obligation to be further involved with this woman and he can go and get on with his life. Unfortunately, because your beta male is a very emotional individual, he cannot see the long term or the big picture and because he cannot see the long term or the big picture instead of him going out here and charging that ratchet female to the game and getting on with his life he is still so caught up in his emotions about what this woman has done all he's thinking about is getting revenge and hurting that woman not thinking about how he's hurting himself because that quest to go out here and murder this infant to get revenge on this woman, all that has done is cost this man the intangible of his freedom and possibly his safety because once those inmates in the prison system find out that he is a child murderer, then they're going to turn that tight end into a wide receiver and they're possibly going to beat that man to death for participating in one of the most egregious crimes possible, murdering an infant. And this is one of the type of things that your beta male is capable of because in that spectrum of violent behaviors, whenever these men are angry, what they do is they act on their impulses and they don't think about the consequences of their actions. And this 33-year-old man didn't think about the consequences of his actions in the long-term big picture scheme of things, he was so caught up in his feelings over this female that he didn't think about what he was going to lose in his attempt to get even with her because what he was going to lose was his freedom, he was going to lose his safety, and he was going to lose an opportunity at a better life because now that he knows that he is not the father, he had every opportunity to go on with his life and have the best life possible, leaving this female behind to be miserable all by herself 
and leaving her to the situation she created. Now, any again, a rational thinking, critical thinking man is going to say that about things because when he looks at these females who say, who try to make you the father and then you find out that you're not, all you have to do is put a period at the end of things, walk away from that female, and if you even have to, just pack up all your stuff and move to another part of the country or another part of the city where this female can't get near you and live the best life possible. That's what a rational, critical thinking man would do once he finds out he is not the father of some ratchet female's child, is he's going to go on and live the best life possible and leave this woman to be miserable in her own company and leave her to the fate she created with Pookie and Ray Ray. He's not going to get angry like this guy and cost himself his freedom all because he's in his feelings over one of these women. No, he's going to navigate through his emotions and while he is angry, he is not going to act on that anger and then after he calms down, he's going to realize that he's the winner in this situation and this female is the loser in this situation because that's, again, what a rational thinking man is going to do. But a beta male, because he is so caught up in his feelings over women, he winds up making himself a loser in a situation where he could have been the winner. If you'd like to see me make more videos like this, you can donate to my Patreon or my PayPal by clicking the links in the description box. And if you want to learn more about the dysfunctional behaviors of beta males like this 33-year-old man, you can pick up my book, The Man Crisis, on Amazon.com in paperback, Kindle, or you can pick it up on ebook platforms like Smashwords, Barnes & Noble, and the iBookstore. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Now available in paperback and Kindle Unlimited, Isis, All That Glitters. The Goddess Next Door takes on a bikini-clad bank robber in this action-packed all-new Isis series adventure. Get Isis, All That Glitters, in paperback and Kindle Unlimited today.